it's starting. The start of the end. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary and I make regular reaction and review videos. So if you haven't already, push that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video from my channel and the uncut version of this video as well as every single MCU phase up until this very point is available on Patreon. Link is in the description bar below as well as my new channel, Very Cherry, where the content may vary but it's still the same old Mary Cherry. Link for that is down below too. Today we're up to the fourth episode of Loki and this one is called The Nexus Event and it's 49 minutes. Loki and Sylvie were pretty fucked last time we saw them. They are stuck in Lamentus in the year 2077 and they missed the shuttle and I don't know what could possibly happen next but I am really excited. The blurb here says frayed nerves and paranoia infiltrate the TVA as Mobius and Hunter B-15. Search for Loki and Sylvie. I'm really hoping Hoping they do find them and take them out of this crazy situation that they're in. All right, guys, I'm ready to get started, so let's get watching. Asgard. <gasps> Her childhood in Asgard. Hereby arrest you for crimes against the sacred time. Oh, she's like a little girl. <laughs> oh my lord. I guess that's the smartest thing to do, get her when she's a child. She's not blonde though. Mm. Who the hell is that? Oh my gosh, she looks so innocent. It is weird that she's not a blonde, but you know, people dye their hair, unless it's a different Loki. Damn, she's, she's smart, man. I feel like that is, I feel like that is Sylvie, cause Sylvie's pretty smart. <laughs> Loki himself is a brunette. He's got black hair. So it would make sense for the variant to also be a brunette. She's clearly dyed her hair. <gasps> the timekeepers, did you see that? Oh my gosh, I love the intro for this show. It's just, it's amazing. I'm always gonna love it. And the music, it's just it's so mischievous. <laughs> yeah, but they can't blame you. They can and do. The variant was right here. What are they gonna do to her? But she got away, along with the variant that I got you permission to bring in here. It's not looking good. Any idea how impossible it is to keep the timeline stable? The timekeepers are all that stand between us and full-scale calamity. I need access to Water C20. I'm sorry, but that's impossible. It's real. Over and over. I need to find out what that meant. She could have information. She's dead. Mobius. Hunter C20's dead. She enchanted C20. So uh, get it? She seemed okay. She seemed fine. But by the time she got in here, she could barely speak. The decline was steeper after that. Hmm. I'm a bit suspicious. You don't want people to panic. Of that? She really just descend? Fine. Oh, here we go. It's it is beautiful though. Like I know it's the end of the world, but it's beautiful. I wonder how long. An apocalypse is. <laughs> I've never experienced one. <laughs> it would be so narcissistic of them if they rooted, but I couldn't imagine any other character rooting themselves except for Loki. <laughs> I remember Asgard. Not much, but I remember my life. She's getting uh, pretty deep here. Starting to trust him. wants to break free. Like me being born the goddess of mischief. And as soon as that created a big enough detour from the sacred timeline, the TVA showed up, erased my reality, and took me prisoner. I was just a child. Ah, oh, that's why she hates him so much. Because that child Stole version. Pad and I ran for a long It was completely out of context for that child version. Everywhere and every when I went caused a Nexus event. Because I'm not supposed to exist until eventually I figured out where to hide. And so that's where I grew up. She grew up? Worlds. Like that? That is depressing. That's where I'll die. Damn. Sounds like a horrendous childhood. Whoever they are, I'm not sure anything survives. No one underestimated. You see anything down at Oxford? Any news on C20? No. <laughs> Jesus, that's that's terrifying. But it's beautiful. It's still beautiful. God damn. 
I've never seen a prettier end of the world. Not long now. Fucking hell. I'm surprised it doesn't just smash them. Loki, Loki is the fact that we're destined to lose. No, we may lose, but we don't die. That's true. We survive. That is true. That is true. Loki's we always survive. You nearly took down the organization that claims to govern the order of time. You had rings around them. As a child. Aw. Aw. Oh, isn't this sweet? We've got something. Tempo lock. <gasps> Shit, that was big. It's starting the start of the end. Unless somebody intervenes right now. Come on, TVA. You ever seen a branch like that? No. Oh, wow. They've really screwed with the timeline now. <laughs> an, incense, an incense branch, maybe. <laughs> Damn. Well, you know, at least they're not dead yet. They still have a chance to escape. Well, well Loki's what? hair always looks quip wet. Quip. I've got nothing to say to you. Oh, come on. By the way, I should have an equal amount of security. This is insulting. <laughs> You me. <laughs> grow up, grow up. Oh, it occurred to me that you're not really the god of mischief. God of self-sabotage, huh? The god of backstabbing. He's kind of an asshole. Aw. Oh, Moby. Yeah, chew on that for a little bit. What is this? You'll see. Okay, no, 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 let, let him one last desperate trick from the desperate character. Go ahead. <laughs> the TDA is lying to you. Oh, boy. Oh no! Still gonna put him in? That is pretty unfair, but this doesn't look like a prison or Seriously? anything. You! <gasps> her! She's Sif! The hell happened to her hair? What? I hope you know you deserve to be alone and you always will be. A bad memory prison? Oh god. Is, it, is this like, um, has anyone seen The Good Place where hell is just like torturous memories? Is it like that? that punishment? I remember exactly what I did after that because it was just a bit of fun. You, you oh. oh my God, he's stuck in a time loop. Always will be. Jesus. Oh no, that forever. That's the worst. Oh God, run away, <laughs> run away. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. I'm already sick of this. <laughs> and I always will be. All right. I'll it. <laughs> you are a reconstruction of a past event created by the organization that controls all of time. So you trust me, you need to help me escape. <laughs> I don't think she wants to help him escape. I doubt it. What? She does? No, she's joking. Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Poor Loki softening in the time cell, but while he marinates, I thought maybe I'd interview the other variant. Oh no, stick with your Loki. I think I can get there faster if I work them both. The love together. nexus you know, spike. Part to play. This is the part I play right Absolutely at. not. Come on, Ramon, this is what I do. And this is what I do. I mean, if there's a mastermind here, I don't think it's Loki. Good. And figure out what caused that spike. It was Thank love. You for watching, Mobius. Now, work your Loki. <laughs> that would be my mantra. <laughs> I love Mobius. You know, we're brought in Kree, Titans, vampires. Why is it the two orphan demigods are such a pain? <laughs> orphan <laughs> demigods. Did Loki say anything while you were in there? Yeah, so the TVA is lying to me. Interesting. Why? Just doing my job. Maybe. She said something similar? That's it. Oh, God. I, I'm a horrible person. I can't feel hair. I thought it'd be funny, and it's not. Oh. I crave attention. Bit of honesty there. I'm a, I'm a narcissist. That he is. Because I'm scared of being alone. Oh no, she's, is she gonna do it again? Please don't. Oh. Oh, oh, is this a trick? Is she gonna kick him in the dick anyway? You are alone. Oh no. Oh. Oh, she didn't, she didn't kick him in the dick though. So oh, he's chained, he's changed something. I think he's over that time loop. I certainly am. <laughs> okay, you said the TVA is lying to me. Or is that just a cockroach's survival mechanism kicking in? Let me out of this place, stop beating me up, and I'll tell you. Cockroach, got it. Oh. How long have you been working for the variant? Working for her, please. Okay, so if you're not working for the variant, what is it? She's 
difficult and irritating and <laughs> tries to hit me all the time. <laughs> Not partners, no. Yeah. Unless, of course, it benefits you and you intend to betray them at some point. It was a means to an end, Mobius. Welcome uh -oh. to the real world. Down Mobius there, feels betrayed. Why don't you just tell me what caused the Nexus event? Just so you can turn around immediately afterwards and prune me. You're gonna miss these little tete-a-tetes. Me too. Old Mobius playing chess, but yeah, give my regards. Oh to no. no, he's well, not that no, one again. No, please not wait. Just talk a little bit, just yeah. a little bit. Of course, it was me. <laughs> she came to me on Asgard a long time ago, and then she took me to one of her apocalypses, and that's where we hatched our plan together. Oh, yeah, coming along very nicely. Thank you. <laughs> very you vague, <laughs> something very, very big. Is going to happen. I'll dispose of her. She's already been pruned. Oh so my God! Is that going to be? An... Hang on. What did you just say? What? She's gone. Yeah. Not before she took out two of ours. Oh no! Hunter B15. Oh. Fire off a thank you note to Hunter B15 because oh, he's... Like you're the superior Loki. I would have bet on her, but that's what makes a horse race. Maybe Mobius is tricking him as well. Good riddance. Using the same techniques that he's learned so well from being betrayed by Loki so very often. You like her. What? <laughs> you like her. <laughs> Clue what caused a Nexus event on Lamentus. Both of you are just swooning over Mobius. each other, I guess. Tell me the truth. <laughs> Two variants of the same thing. Especially you, forming this kind of sick... <laughs> sick and twisted. Chaos. That could break reality. But a incredible seismic... Literally, that's what I said. That's what I literally said. Is she alive? Oh, he cares deeply. Overthrowing the timekeeper. Maybe they need to be overthrown. If what Sylvie told me about this place is true, it affects all of us. Here we go. Oh no. You, you've already told me about. Obius does not. I'm not lying this time. Believe him, and and I don't blame him. Your female self, you have some demented, <laughs> demented, <laughs> demented crush. Who works at the TVA? Timekeepers didn't create you; they kidnapped you from the timeline. Here we go. Memories she can access through enchantment. They all need her, actually. Maybe you had a family, a life. Nice try. Hmm. It's hard to believe, Loki. You know. I'm gonna have to close oh. this case now. I don't need you anymore. I bet Loki regrets being a lying son of a bitch now. Because <laughs> nobody believes him when he's actually telling the truth. Come on, Mobius. You're not like the rest of them. And she, you know, her mind was manipulated. Something is going wrong with her, or maybe it's going right with her. Did you get them all? Verify. Thorough deletion. Oh, is she going to go and talk to... Oh. She's going to talk to Sylvie, even Hello. though she's not allowed. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow. They might have some hope left. He's thinking. Case closed. He's thinking about what Loki said. If you could go anywhere, anytime. Well, I can go anywhere, anytime. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I told you we couldn't risk her escaping again. Couldn't have escaped. The other variant got away during your first interrogation, didn't he? <laughs> I like being here now with you. He does like her, though. You can tell. I if it's reciprocal. Working. They want to personally oversee the variant's pruning. They want you there, too. It's about time. He's never seen a pruning before. When, when did you first notice what was going on with C20? I know. The timekeepers are happy. Yes, Mission accomplished. It's great. Mission. Well, she quickly wasn't fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> C20, variants, what are you getting at? I think the timekeepers killed her. Something's very sus about her suddenly descending. I'm trying to protect you. Oh, oh! The variant scares the hell out of me, and I didn't want to see anything happen to you. She remembered her past. <gasps> Lost her mind. Words by the end. Because she started to remember. With that happening to you. The timekeepers got rid of her. You've been spending too much time with Loki's. <laughs> Friends against time. Friends. Ouch, bro. Good speech. <laughs> you knew I was your favorite animal. So <laughs> what are you going to do with that trophy? <gasps> Ooh. He's learned some tricks from Loki. How's that? He's definitely spent a lot of time with Loki. <laughs> I 
we'll see you later on. You sure you're okay? I'm just exhausted. Dealing with all these low keys. Fair enough. Oh my gosh, Mobius is so close to the truth. What did you do to me? I showed you a life before the TVA. Jen, no it's not. I was created by the time. Uh-uh. No, you can only use what's already there. The timekeepers took your life from you. Mm-hmm. Ah! <laughs> That's like the worst insult. <laughs> Show me. The moment she was taken? Is that what she's gonna show her? I looked happy. Oh. What now? Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. These guys need to link up with Mobius ASAP. <laughs> Hunter Z20 deceased. Any other information? I guess they wouldn't put it there. <laughs> oh wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> what? Her friend? I think his friend knows the truth. Passing the time. You care about this variant? Sylvie, I'm not sure if care is the right word. <laughs> I think we've covered this back Shut in. Shut up. I really believe you deserve to be alone. I don't know. Then you better figure it out quick. As the Nexus event the two of you caused, I think whatever that connection is can bring this whole place down. We better understand. We? Oh God. I swear she didn't implant those memories in Hunter C20. Mobius, no, I believe her. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. How about the word of a friend? Oh. <laughs> right, you were right from the beginning. You need to trust me. Can we do that? Whoever, whatever you want to be, even someone good. <laughs> even someone good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I knew this was going to happen. I think you have something of mine. <gasps> yeah, yeah. What's going on? Uh oh, they're very sus. Oh no, are they? I know where I go. If I could go anywhere, wherever it is I'm really from, and yeah, wherever I had a life before the TVA came along. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! That's what I'd like to do. <gasps> on my jet ski. Oh no! Oh my god! Ravona! What a fucked up bitch! That was your friend! Greatest friend of all time! Fucking clearly not, lying bitch! Damn! That's so fucked up. That's beyond fucked up. You know, maybe that's why he likes jet skis so much, because in the back of his head or somewhere in his subconscious, he had a jet ski and he had a lot of fun. Who was in here with her? 15 and 16. Mm. Put out an alert for Hunter B-15. They're gonna- She too has been compromised by the variant. Oh my god. I can't believe Mobius died. I fucking loved that character. Owen Wilson played him so well. You're okay. Oh, they just need to touch each other again. Do you remember me? They're gonna meet the timekeepers now. What was my Nexus event? What does it matter? It was enough to take my life from me. It was their love for one another? I don't remember. <laughs> The reason she was taken as a girl is that she doesn't, Ravona doesn't remember. Ah, oh, isn't that great? The timekeepers! I bet it's gonna end right now. The variants. Oh my god, this place is scary. Jesus, their voices. Jesus. I've lost track of the number of times I've been killed. Do your worst. <gasps> Very jarring. Jeez. No, I'm not done with you. Oh, oh man. What's going on? What's going on? <gasps> B15! Hell to the fucking yes! Hell yeah! Go B15! Oh my god. This is fucking epic, dude. The timekeepers are just sitting down. Oh god. Someone kill Ravona. Seriously. Fuck that bitch. Yes. I think Loki should kill her to avenge his friend. I finished the job. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Go Loki. Fucking hell. Go Sylvie. Oh! What, what, what was... What, what was so funny? They're fucking robots? Oh my god. Just like that? 
They're not real. Mindless androids. This is so confusing. Who would do this? Then who created the TVA? Ravona. No wonder they wouldn't move. They were just sitting so still when everybody was fighting. Sylvie. I love you. Please. I have to tell you something. This is probably the most vulnerable we're ever going to see Loki. We will figure this out because... I love you. Oh, this is new for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Just kiss her. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck. Ravona. That's so fucked. You're going to tell me everything. Oh my god. That can't be the end of Loki. There are two more episodes left. <gasps> oh my god. Where is he now? This is hell. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty white. But you will be unless you come with us. What? Who the hell is that? Are they all Lokis? How did he die and end up there? I gotta say, that last minute that showed us that Loki is actually not dead is almost comical at this point because he literally never dies. <laughs> it's like so many times I've seen him die on screen, mind you. He has never really had an off screen death, but somehow he manages to still be alive. It's just a running joke at this point. But that being said, I'm really glad that probably means that Owen Wilson is still still hanging around too, because I really, really loved his character Mobius. I am very confused as to what Ravona's role in all of this was, because obviously the timekeepers were androids. What the hell? What the hell is the point of the TVA? Who made these timekeepers? It looks like Ravona knows what's going on. She's either behind it, like the mastermind, or she absolutely knows what's going on. We saw in the tape where C-15, Hunter C-15, I think her number was, Ravona stopped the tape and she suddenly just had this very worried face as though she knew that C-15 has finally figured out the truth and she did not hesitate to prune her really good friend Mobius. That shocked me honestly like I didn't expect that she would do that. I really didn't. I thought that she was maybe just ignorant of everything that's going on but the fact that she didn't flinch at pruning her own good friend it's makes me think that she's either the mastermind or she knows what's going on and I'm glad that Sylvie didn't kill her out of revenge or anything like that. She's a very smart and capable Loki variant and she wants to get to the truth and I hope that that's what we get to learn in episode 5 which is next week. I'm so excited for it. Two more episodes left. It has been such a good series so far. I'm absolutely loving it. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. it really helps my channel out and the uncut version is available on patreon along with every single mcu movie and tv show up until this very point link is in the description bar below subscribe for more loki and i will hopefully see you next week thanks guys bye